How to create a free Google Sites online store. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do. So Google Sites is an amazing place to create your very first website totally for free and you don't even have to pay for absolutely anything. But if you want to create an online store, if you want to actually start to receive money, there are a few things that you need to do in order to process that. So as you can see, we are now here into the sites.google.com and I have just signed it in using my Google account. So the very first thing that we need to do, of course, is to get started with some project. So we're going to go here where it says blank section which is start a new site and as you can see this one actually has like nothing here to add so you don't want to worry here about you want to first of all use the elements so you can customize your actual website so this is the very first part of our video which is actually customizing our website so here into site.google.com what i want to do is to focus into the insert part and you can see there's a lot of elements that i can add there's a lot of blogs there's some collapse groups there's table of content the carousels and buttons the button much more so what i want to do guys uh, first of all let's say that i want to create some content about my actual um let's say that my brand so here what i want to do is to look out for content blocks i choose this option and as you can see i can add an image as well as the actual content of the text of the image so what i want to do let's say for example what i want to add this one i'm going to hit into select an image and whether you want to choose an image for Google Drive, Linked, or Google Images, but in my case, uh, first of all, since this is just an example, I want to just focus into the Google Images. And let's say that I want to focus into something related into, let's say, yoga. I'm going to type this option. And here into the yoga images, I want to type this one and look out for the insert. So here, what I want to do is to look out for the title, which is, let's say, for example, the name of my brand. Let's say for Hans. And here into... Uh, edit text let's say who are we three dots and I can just start to customize all my content as I am writing more and more so here into the upper side let's say for example that now I want to focus into change the image hit into upload and I can add the custom image that I want to do or I can do exactly the same thing as I did before here I can go into change image hit into select and look out for let's say for example something a little bit more abstract like this or like this and hit into select and there we go this is actually like really really trying to get a little bit more of engagement right so now what i want to do is to start by adding the products here into my actual content of google sites so since google sites does not have the actual payment section there's actually two ways that we can do this so whether you want to add the paypal button here i'm actually going to do this into the very two ways that we can do this so first of all i want to go uh, let's say for example this one I'm gonna click here and I have three different sections to buy so I'm gonna try to add a text box like this and here what I want to do is to type let's say start and here I want to select this option and move this into the aligned and of course I want to make the font size a little bit more big enough like this and they're actually good to go so um, now what I want to do is to start by adding uh, some products right so first of all now that I have added the contact block let's say for example here um, I want to hit into plus and hit into select image and go for Google images I just want to look out for an image of a product uh, so I can have this as a reference but in your case you want to select of course the material the stuff that you want to start selling so for example here I want to choose like this guy here I'm gonna hit into insert and this is my actual first product so I can add more and more ideas as I wanted to. I can have the name of my product. I'm gonna go for product number one. And this is a description. So we're gonna click here. This is a description like that. And we're actually good to go. So I can do exactly the same thing with all these products. And then what I want to do is to choose this one. I'm gonna hit the actual section of this. I'm gonna hit which is collapsible. There we go, so I can just try to unlock and lock this as I am just using this more and more. So if I go into the button section, I'm gonna hit here where it says button. I'm gonna say, let's say for example, learn more. And here what I want to do is to add a link. So here into the link, you want to add, let's say for example, Amazon. Get into the insert. And I can just move that here. So inside here, my actual section of PayPal account wins uh, I can go into the preview and here I want to choose let's say for example fix a price and I want to go into the add some description this is my product number one 
the item price, the currency, the shipping fee, the tax rate, you can choose the button style if you wanted to, the shape, the color, and after that, you can just see how it's gonna be looking into mobile as well as a desktop. So once you go, one, what you're gonna do is to copy this code and use this to sell that, to actually add this into your actual section of the Untitled site. So here, what I want to do is to add a new code. So what I want to do is to choose the InBeamed, and here's my actual HTML file. I'm gonna go into Next, hit into Insert, and lastly, I just need to move this here into this part, like this, into the Pay Now. But uh, of course, what I want to do is to make a custom section so I can start to, let's say, to edit all of this part. So for example here, if I am just starting with the buy now, I want to add like a new page, a new section. So I can go into pages, I want to go into plus, and here is the pages of my product number one. So here into the product number one, you want to add the same stuff. And here, what you want to do now is to insert the embedded code that was generated and buy and for you of actual PayPal. So you can go into insert as well as to insert your image. So I can go and insert here the gallery of all the image, the description, and you can just uh, are actually good to go. So there's one way that we can do this. The second way, which I think is like more useful to do that, is just to actually delete all of this. I'm gonna delete all of these parts here, and I'm gonna use another thing called Striped. Now Striped is an amazing place to get started here, what I want to do is to sign in. So as well as Striped can do exactly the same thing, but here what you can do is to add the actual product, and then you can embed that into your actual Google site. So I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna go here into products of my actual dashboard of stripe.com. It's gonna be just really, really easy just to sign in, to sign up. So I'm gonna hit into add my product. And here what you want to do is to type the name of your product. So for example, let's say that this is product number one. And there we go. So as you can see, now my product is gonna be created and this is how it's gonna be looking. So what I need to do, of course, to track this is to create a payment link. So as you can see, here is the pricing, the price. So I'm gonna go into create payment link and it's gonna be sending me into the preview of how it's gonna be looking this section of the preview of the buyment. I'm gonna paste this in here and I'm gonna update that. Lastly, I'm going to go into the insert. I'm going to hit into uh, insert some image, upload. I'm going to go into my downloads. And here, I want to look out for my actual template or the image that I just downloaded, which is actually this one. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to choose the QR code. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. So as you can see, it's actually working. So I can go into published and just take a look into how it's gonna be looking my actual payment section of my Stripe account of my site, google.com. So here into the web address, you want to choose your, of course, the name of your product. Let's say for example, this is just a test now, number one. So I can scroll up it down and choose the section which says buy now. And as you can see, this one has been now redirected me into my Stripe payment section. And it's looking, of course, more professional. We have the contact information, the card information, name and card, the billing address, and much more. So as you can see, this is how we can get started. I mean, this is like too basic, but you can just customize your stuff as you are creating more and more content here into Google. And we have three different payments that we can just enable. You can even create a button and then you can send a link to another section. For example, um, let's say for a Bitcoin, a wallet or whatever you want to. But with that being said, guys, how we can get started by creating some online store here into your actual Google Sites. And of course, it was totally for free. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to see more amazing tools of the Google Sites. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you next time. See you soon.